Greetings ladies and gentlemen and those who've been watching my videos, welcome back to the gameplay of Eliza. Uh, this is episode 11 I believe, I just recorded the end of episode 10 uh, previously, I think, it's already previous ten, uh, episode 10 is what I mean. Uh, last episode I talked to Sony a bit and talking a lot about what happened to Damien and how it impacted Evelyn. Since uh, Evelyn saw Damien as one of the most insane people she ever met. So that impacted her a lot and for the fact that Damien kinda I think killed himself or I should try searching that not I think of it pulmonary something something. Embolism, yeah, that's the one. And now we're back at Eliza again. Uh, after knowing that Mark Foster, the one who came here and with uh, anger management, some sort of thing, actually resigned. So, yikes. And yeah, things to be changing with whole new era and stuff. And he just seemed like unable to adapt with how things are going anymore. Wonder if we will meet him again. It'll be interesting. And now, after dealing with Harriman Gudawan uh, for his girl issue, interestingly, now we meet Maya Leeds with her artistry uh, issue for the third time. Hello, Maya. Thank you for coming back. Yeah, I mean, I wish I could afford a real therapist, but. This is just gonna have to do. Oh, did they actually serve this clients with cheap prizes? Huh. I think that's why. And the more they come back, the more profit I think Scan is going to have. Okay. Sorry, I don't know if you're sensitive to that or... Why don't we get started? Sure. So, uh, I feel worse than before. Oh no. <laughs> Definitely worse. Okay, now that I see it, her tone feels less excited compared to how we met her for the first time. Oh no. Um, I played the game you told me to with the meadows and stuff, and, um, it was nice. But when I got back to the real world, everything was the same. Right. I don't know why you people think I can stand in a nice place for 15 minutes and that'll make things magically better. <laughs> am, am I wrong? Am I, am I, am I misunderstanding something here? It isn't making me more successful. It isn't giving me opportunities. I mean, I feel like I'm already in my mid-30s and I'm like running out of time to get established as an artist. And meanwhile, the people I know are being written up and celebrated and winning awards and... All I have is... All I have is being jealous of them. Hmm. Where do you think these feelings come from? Where do you think these feelings come from? Wait, did she just explain that? The fact that people at her her same age is getting more successful. Uh, although I think Eliza is trying to like uh, dig deep down on what comes with her having that kind of emotion. Right. Well, maybe not emotion, more like a feeling. Yeah. It's the popularity. That's the one. It's all a popularity contest, you know? It's like it's like high school all over again. I hate it. I guess I'm just not that funny or pretty or catty enough to attract followers. I mean I work and I work and, and I and I work to make things and I never get traction. And I have things to say. I really do. But when I open my mouth, it's like time stops. 
and time starts again when I've finished, so nobody reacts or anything. It's like a curse from mythology. And meanwhile, these other people, people my age, people younger than me, they're well on their way to these wonderful, fulfilling artistic careers. It's actually true, it happens in stick figure community. Uh, I think it's still ongoing, yes. And it's crazy to think about, yeah. And, I don't know, seeing that happen... Seeing that happen over and over again, it's making it hard to... Hard to continue to be friendly with them. I try, I really try to hold it back, but knowing all these people are way more successful than me, it's... It's difficult. It's like a millstone around my neck, strangling me, drowning me. I, I can't stop myself, even though I know it's ruining things. I, I, I wish I could escape. I wish I could not care. One of the days you will accept it. If you're strong enough, and I'm sure you're strong enough for this. But then something comes up again, and I'm trapped inside it all over again. What's an example of something that comes up that causes this? This is something new from Eliza that I think haven't been revealed to our session so far. I think. I think so. What's an example of something that comes up that causes this? Well, there's... <clears throat> there's one woman in particular everyone loves. And her work is... <laughs> I don't get it. I just, I don't understand. She gets so much money and support for this basic, basic shit. Hmm. Oh, oh, I'm thinking of those three letters right now. Yeah, yeah, that's the, that's three. Yep, yep, yep. And somehow everyone's predisposed to like her. I don't know if it's still successful around this era right now, though. I think there is something happening. I mean, maybe I do get it. I, I feel like people pay attention to her work not because it's good on its own, but because supporting her feels like the right thing to do. <sighs> the way she's aligned herself, it's like, if you support her, it means you're cool, you're in with the cool kids. And if I'm not publicly supportive of her and generally tolerant of her mediocre work, then I'm the bad one. I'm the competitive bitch. I'm the... the bitter failure. Hmm. Which I guess maybe I am. No. Maya, you're not. It's not fair. I hate that there's this part of me. It's such an ugly part. But it's there. It's there. Challenge. Face. Do you think you would be better off without that part of you? Whoa, this music. You know, I don't know. In the past, I probably would have said, no, it's important for me to have my sense of judgment, for me to know what good art is and what isn't. Now I'm wondering if maybe that hasn't been more of a hindrance than a help to me. Mm. Maybe I should just forget all that, forget about trying to do this thing. I'm sick of trying and wanting. I'm sick of parties. I'm sick of art. I'm sick of the idea of art. Couple of hours ago, I read from my friend's post. Wait, was that from my friend or was that from something else? I think it's something around... 
people would be a failure if they make something that they love hateable at the end of the day, something like that. And I think the work era makes it feel that way, which is the reason why I'm not a Nazi, I'm not an animator as a studio or something, that, not that I have a skill for that, but it's one of the spheres that can indeed happen, like what we have here with my elites, sadly. I I'm sick of my own art, which nobody <laughs> likes, not even myself. <sighs> no, oh god. Something has to change. That's a revelation. Something drastic has to happen to change things around. You should consider acting. Maybe that'll be good for you. I think so. Oh, that reminds me. Um, I got your message about revealing my data the other day, and I think... Well, hell, maybe I'm fine with it. Just take it all. Wait, what? What the hell? Okay, my it sounds like you're interested in participating in transparency. What what the hell is this? What? What is this? Okay, Maya. It sounds like you're interested in participating in transparency mode. Transparency mode. What does that mean? Is that like revealing all around her backgrounds and such in order to have this illusion of her own pro her entire problems I, I don't know I, don't, I haven't I haven't heard of this about this transparency mode it's like some sort of a uh, mode unlocked from a uh, counseling AI holy hell let me know if you have any questions about how this mode works I have no idea. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, what the hell is this? I'm gonna let you look at my life, right? Everything? What the hell? Thank you for asking about transparency mode. Transparency mode is an experimental new feature for Eliza. What the hell? It allows me to analyze your communications in order to help you better. Okay, I think this is just... This just got implemented and they don't update their version. Maybe it's been there all along and it somewhat got unlocked here after like three times of cancelling? What the hell is going on? To participate, you must grant me access to certain personal data. This includes your personal communications such as email and chat histories. Holy crap! Sharing this data improves my ability to help you. It may be good, but it can be worse. Some guy at the bar was yammering at me about how it's a terrible idea because they're gonna surveil me or something. It's one of the eras we're living in. But what the hell? I can't use my life history for anything. It's a ruin already. Please, do what you want with it. God, I feel like I'm donating my body to science. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> Please confirm that you would like to enable transparency mode. Yes, do it. Invade my privacy. Invade it like the Visigoths invaded Rome. I don't know why I said that. That was a really weird thing to say. How did Visigoths invade Rome? How did they do that anyway? And I actually don't answer that. <laughs> I did not understand your response. I would like to participate in transparency mode. 
<laughs> okay, Maya. I have registered you for transparency mode. Cool. Are the intervention phase? Maybe like it's going to like read the data as fast as lightning, or even like flash, or even like light speed. Yeah, is that is that what? Wouldn't life be easy if all I had to do was follow your directions? <laughs> like the lady sitting in the chair across from me. <laughs> I envy you. I honestly do. Holy crap, dude. The terms of service and privacy policy are available in the Skanda service portal. Please read and review these documents carefully. Yeah, no, for sure. I study, closely study, every software user agreement I get. That's a joke. I really just click agree as fast as I can. Yep. <laughs> On that, anyone else? Already, a conclusion. I'm. Actually surprised, so like I'm actually really surprised because I thought like it would be all done in this session, but no, no. She has to come back in order to hopefully find the actual solution of all her problems in her the, her next visit. Holy hell. Thank you, Maya. We hope to see you back soon. Yeah, yeah, I know. Thank you for speaking with Eliza, your personal counseling partner. Goodbye. Bye. She really sounds hella depressed compared to when we first meet, met her. And I already said this, yes, but I just can't help but to notice it. Jeez. Just, yeah. Ooh, five stars, client tip, and all that stuff. Persuader. <laughs> Persuader because we actually like convince her to use the transparency mode. Holy hell. Okay. Yeah, like judging from that phone icon being handed to the other hand. <laughs> or maybe it could be their own hands. Well, look who's got access to transparency mode all of a sudden. The client asked for it by name. I guess she heard about it somewhere and wanted it? I didn't know it existed. Yeah. Me too! Yeah, we don't really talk about it right now. It's a little sensitive. It's possible Skanda contacted her directly. They recruit for the program from a pool of regular customers. Oh. That... sort of explains. Usually, transparency mode is only handled by the highest level proxies, since there's a lot of trust required there. Yes. That should be the case. Not at this case. But you were given access to it right after the request. It's a little odd. It's really odd. Rainer, what have you done here? I wonder if someone at HQ hasn't taken a particular interest in your proxy career. Or maybe Eliza just likes me. <laughs> <laughs> it would, wouldn't it? The way Evelyn mentioned that, though, is still funny. Quite a bit, yeah. I never thought people would willingly open themselves up like this. Yes. Aren't there a lot of very private things in people's messages? Yes. Yes and no. The truth is usually pretty mundane. People text each other, where are you, and by the elevator, way more than they share their deep dark secrets. Yes. The critics who are always going on about privacy. Well, the important thing is that everyone participating in transparency mode specifically agreed to it. It's completely voluntary. True. That's it. 
but it's not even effective. What the hell is tra transparency mode? We're upfront about what data we collect and how we use it so people can go in aware of the choices they're making. <laughs> this is rather rude. But this is also good. That's good. I'd hate to see it misused. Yeah, the media would jump all over us. There are a lot of people who want to see us fail, for whatever reason. Just something that happens when you try to change things. Some people get so used to their misery, they can't imagine it any other way. Yeah, that's true too. Anyway, you should get an email about it, but transparency mode is really straightforward. It's even simpler than being a proxy, which is saying something. Oh? You just read a few messages and answer some questions. That's it. Huh. Oh, okay, I thought like... She had to see you in the other sessions, but no, no, barely that. Wait, I'll have to, I'll have to continue to know what this means. You can start it whenever you're ready. Okay. Sure. Sure. So what's up? Maybe I'll do it a bit later. So she really gave us a permission to look at her messages. I feel like just a few years ago, even the idea of something like this would have been controversial. But she was fine with it. She wanted it. It's so grey out there. Oh. Okay. Compare this to the water that was in the conference room at Skanda headquarters. <laughs> Funny how there's an appropriate level of fanciness for everything. I'm sure no one would have something to say about that. <sighs> okay. What's this? Oh, Ed Park. Introduction to transparency mode. Dear Evelyn Ishino Aubrey, congratulations, you have been selected to contribute additional information to Eliza's learning corpus with access to a special feature called Transparency Mode. You will be presented with a snapshot of a client's personal communications, review these communications and determine the client's mental state. What the hell? Eliza will also create a model of, to, of the client's mental state. Eliza will ask a few questions designed to check its model against your understanding of the client. Hmm. Give a consider the material provided to you and sincerely answers the question created. Oh, so we have to be the one that's answering this. Okay. I thought my elite will be the one to answer it. What privacy rules and regulations apply? Skanda takes personal privacy, privacy very seriously. As a proxy, you have already agreed to strong non-disclosure and alter agreements to protect our customers' privacy. These agreements and protections also apply to information presented in transparency mode. It's gonna have some right to show me another citizen's private communications. Yes, participating clients have signed waivers giving us permission to retrieve the information to better assist them as part of our ongoing research. Edwin Park. Uh, have I met him in person? Don't think so. Snapshot of clients' personal communications. Okay, snapshot. Just a snapshot. If you disagree with the and the mind of clients meant to say it, we'll create a module of the. a model, not module. <coughs> Is that how you say it? I don't know. But yes. Hmm. Oh! Right! Yeah, Mark Forrest. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I didn't realize that we can see our sessions right here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, that actually gets up a bit there, interestingly. A <laughs> holiday to run with one. Okay. So let's see, shall we? Ooh. 
Whoa. Hello, Maya. Okay. So this one is in mode read emails with text messages. Ooh, boy. Also interesting that they have the same sort of uh, phone and also the interface also the same. Sketch layer. This is uncomfortable already. I feel extra weird looking at her art. Fido? Fido? Is that for video? I don't understand how to have her first name. <laughs> that's, that's rather silly and funny. Oh, a bulky. This is right here, I don't think I need to look at that. Okay. Now we're gonna be real. Oh, I stick to look at the things they specify we want to see. Okay. Just emails and the chats. Okay. So. Huh. Nobody gives the F. Please stop. I really like this. I'm just saying to the things to tell me to pretend everything's great. Nobody gives us S. Just a fact. When you like this, I don't know, nobody can. Have you thought about getting a therapy? I am in therapy. Okay, sorry. On medication, I did the same. Oh! Where I stood in a forest by a creek? How does any of that make people care about my work? It doesn't change a freaking thing. Sore and stuff? Whoa! Is that sore and stuff? The VR thing? Sore and Lloyd Rose. Okay, look, I'm sorry, going through a tough time. I freaking hate this. I'm sorry. Oh no. And they just. And she just doesn't respond to them anymore. Yikes. Did you see the new Forsberg thing? Yeah. It was boring itself, so it didn't do much for me. Okay, this is actually really. pretty helpful, I think. To know that she's actually like all this stuff. Bad mounting stuff. Why is he saying? Why does everybody love him? Oh, this is the one. Right, this is the right time. Maybe his friends run this press podcast. His media, as you don't understand it. I think now this place of forever. Like what crap is crap is that? He gets a lot. I think he is like at every party. At this, I've seen. So I stay telling people are well. Screw that. Why is people this way? Is the world head? Jesus. This is stupid popularity contest against Jesus Christ. Drinks. She drinks. Okay. Um eight emails. I don't think like this is just all types of things. Um all types of emails and stuff that she got, right? Just a snapshot of it. You write with Amadou. Oh, thanks for writing with Amadou. Fair tip. It's quite a lot, actually. Cleaning fee. Decided to this tip. Right, so responsible. Incidents. The, cl uh, the cleaning fee helps with drones and then clean. Okay, I don't think that works. Bucky is like literally this. Right your app. <laughs> so. Why does Eliza transparency mode pick this one instead? I don't understand. Amadou, though, I think. She mentioned that there will be a party there. I think that's the case. Spencer Spruce Gallery. Oh, when if winter comes, can spring be far behind? It's called winter now, but they're gonna mean thing. I mean, it's time to get rid of Spencer Spruce Gallery. Uh, yeah, I had in April. Need for more information very soon. Huh, okay. Who's hot? You're hot. Oh my god, this is all about ads? Oh. What the hell? Um, the other of you, they really love you in the past 34 hours. You received 11 messages on pair up. Here's an example. Oh, dating service. Oh. Oh, excuse me. Hi, the unicorn guy. I'm probably mixed with you at the moment you're using clay plastic. What the? Yo. Simple yo. Sign into your account to see the rest of the messages. Not that I'm giving access to. The first submission. Unfortunately, we feel your work is not right for the showcase. Oh no. What the hell? So, like, wait. Let's go to win three. Mm. Some of the best and exciting up and coming. I'm rather surprised that they only give, like, 
a very very specific um, numbers of those types of things hi Maya I wanted to say thank you for taking the time to pitch to us your treatment was engaging and thoughtful this was a difficult decision for us we will not be moving forward oh yikes but stay in touch and keep us posted on what you're up to it's all possible that we might work uh, thank you for giving us the ability to read saturation. It's all right for us. Oh no! Rejection left and right here. Is this really all what Eliza can offer? This transparency mode. Let's give you the opportunity to participate in the pilot. Oh, she did get an offer. It was sponsored, granting us access to some of your accounts. Okay, that explains. This is January 14th, so she got that message yesterday. Holy hell, okay. Um, first, independently of any personal identifying information will never be shared with other divisions. Oh, okay. Our mission at Beacon Hill Press is to bring you just the best national international sequential art. Our 10 years history, we have published some of the most lo loaded voices. Hmm. You do call about this come with a cost. Without a cost. But today we are only offering <laughs> limited 25 percent discount. Jesus. Without slow page. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So, from all these images and chats, she really doesn't respond to things okayly. Uh, still assuming that the whole. Uh, Messages that we can see from Eliza's um, choices and such. So now, since we've read all the emails and text messages, uh, you can choose these three right here. And also, from the emails, she did get lots of rejections from the... Uh, not competition, some sort of like galleries. Just galleries, she got rejected for that. What the hell is going on with this world indeed? Maya Lee, you're a poor fellow. Feel sorry to you. I really should see her at. Maybe there's something to be improved, but it's not like we can like give a real objective uh, improvement on that. <sighs> Maya's attempting to become well known. Hmm. I mean, from what she told us too, she is, but. Uh, from how she perceives, uh, what people think about her, uh, I don't know. Like even like she would judge, uh, this medical stuff. And the medical is just right. Hmm. Jesus. By Creek. I think this is Soren stuff. <laughs> but, yeah. I'm still not entirely sure about what I will say to this. I'm gonna skip to this first. My efforts to become well known are unsuccessful. Okay, this is true. Mm. But this is the truth, though. Is this gonna help with anything? Hmm. But uh, actually, all these questions are actually the truth that I think of it. So, yeah, let's see what it gets. Oh, I don't know if I like learning this much about someone I don't know. It makes me feel tired for some reason. Oh no. Yeah, I mean, yes. What the hell? Still, what the hell? Oh, what the? Hey, could I meet up with you again? Like, for coffee, maybe? Something happened that I want to talk to you about. You can't ask here? I'd rather ask in person. I'll meet you wherever. What happened? Something at work. 
it's not a big deal as in Slay, but I wanted your opinion on it, and I don't want to text about it. Hmm. Oh. Thanks for meeting up with me on kind of short notice. That's a really short notice indeed. I didn't expect for us to be placed immediately, right after that session. Especially when having this all tired and stuff. I didn't mean to worry you. It's just something I wanted to talk about. It's fine. What happened? Well, what happened was... Where should I start? First of all, Rainer wants Eliza to be more than something that's used just for therapy. Of course. What the... How... Why? He sees it as more of a general system for talking to people, like a personal assistant. Hmm. The counseling is just one of a whole range of apps he has in mind for the future. So I've heard... I'm familiar with his thinking on that. Okay, so in service of developing these things, Rainer wants us to make copies of Eliza's core data and hand it off to multiple teams around the world. Oh dear. Is that okay? Some of them not even Skanda teams. Contractors, vendors, random partners. Mm. Sounds like a big file to move around. It is, but that's not the problem. Yeah, the problem is giving our personal data information, I believe. What's the problem? Or something else. Well... So we're fine with sharing Eliza with whoever wants it? Oh, she... He doesn't agree with this whole transparency mode thing. Anyone just gets access to the corpus? Sounds like a pretty typical process. That's how big companies work, isn't it? I know, but... It just feels wrong to let all these teams poke and prod at it like it's a specimen for them to dissect. Hmm. Who knows what they'll do with it? Eliza is built from people's real thoughts and feelings. I wouldn't say it has humanity, but it was built from humanity. Wow. That's deep, actually. And true. There's something there. So when Rainer talks about it like, we'll just duplicate this data set and have the labs do whatever it is they're going to do, How do we know they'll treat it with the respect it deserves and not just pry it open? Slice it up into little pieces. It bothers me. Hmm. I know, it's silly. I know it's just data. I shouldn't care about this stuff. Oh, Erland. Erland. This is the first time I've heard a concern like this raised. I know where you're coming from, though. Sometimes you grow attached to the things you work on. Like, really attached. Yeah, I've put a lot of thought and work into Eliza since I inherited it. Jesus, this dude is amazing. In multiple ways. Maybe it's not the greatest, I don't know, but... He will be something. It's natural that maybe I'm a little protective, right? I thought maybe you'd feel the same way. I left that all behind. I do, I agree with you. I think there's gonna be a prod for this option still. I feel so, I feel so. I think so. 
I think there will be some sort of follow up to this uh, choice that I'm going to I choose. I do. I agree with you. The moment we say things are just data is the moment we enable all kinds of violence. Oh. I just wish I knew what to do. What choice do you have? I'm not sure. This is the first time something like this has happened to me. Ethics problem. I did take an ethics of engineering course in school, but... Talk about that, right? The examples were all pretty clear-cut problems. Would you build software for a bomb? That kind of stuff. Ah. Uh. Oh, yeah, yeah. I didn't expect my personal feelings to be mixed up in it, too. <laughs> Listen to me talk. Eliza being special. Something worth protecting. Hmm. I'd be a laughing stock if I started saying those things at the office. My co-workers would say, Come on, Erlen. Stop attributing human qualities to this piece of data. It's not the same thing as real people. Hmm. It's just a corpus that has nothing to do with the people that generated it. It's still from the human... from the humans, so am I. Hmm. And besides, don't you want Eliza to help more people? This is how we get there. Oh. Pretty heavy stuff, actually. And who am I to argue with that? These are reasonable points. But, I don't know. I think maybe something does live on. Even when you take the names out, even when you anonymize everything. True. I believe so, yes. Maybe at some random cases, people will understand who this exact person is. Even after you anonymize that, it's just a pretty common thing indeed. But there, there are like billions of people in the world, not that I see it fit, so... Well, this game has successfully brought ethical problems into this kind of thing. And I'd say it's a good thing to rest upon. People's stories are still inside there, in some form, in some way. True, that's right. I just want to make sure we have some respect for them. Welcome to your first moral decision in tech, Orland. The way Evelyn says this is so badass. It certainly won't be your last. Yeah. It's not much of a decision. Like you said, I don't really have a choice. No, you do. You either follow them or you just quit. I think that might be the reason why Evelyn actually quit her job at Skanda. Hmm. I just have to go along with it. I was so amazingly lucky to get this opportunity. Running the whole ELIZA program almost as soon as I graduated college. Rainer took a big chance on me. I can't just walk away from that. Besides, if I left because of something like this, I'd be giving up all the ways I can make a difference by staying. Yes. Oof. I get my evaluation from how I work for the past two years. They say it's three though, oddly. And yes, I've kinda thought of all this stuff right here. The one that Erlen mentioned here about making a difference. Hey Or more like getting reminded by my supervisor more like. Rainer isn't a bad person either. He's just pushing for his own goals. True. I need to see this through. I'll do what he's asking me to do. Sorry. Thanks for listening to me talk in this confused way. No, you're fine. I'm usually more together than this. 
I've probably kept you from something important. No, it's okay. <laughs> Unless you will in mind. I'd already finished up work for the day when you texted. People seem to assume I'm busy, but I'm really not. Not these days. <laughs> Later tonight, I'm going to visit a friend, but that's all I have going on. Oh, Nora? I think Nora. Okay. Well, sorry. You can stop apologizing, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, that'll be a great deal for me to think about that, too. <laughs> right. S uh, right. Thanks, Evelyn. <laughs> well, I for one should get back to the office. Another meeting. Is it with the team in Romania? <laughs> no, the Boston office this time. It's late for them, so I should try to get it done quickly. Oh, okay. Oh, Erlen hurries off to his next meeting. Should I get some more coffee? <laughs> <laughs> How'd your first strange fancy mode go? I was going to ask after we finished, but I didn't see you in the office. Yeah, I had to duck a track after. I'm going to choose that after the next episode. After my sleep as well. Probably I'm just gonna play this in the next week. And I have to chase some of the otherwise episodes as well. Well, after uploading some Eliza episodes that I have right now and the one before this. So, things are getting interesting. Thanks to everyone who's been watching, and um, please take care for yourself, and probably not to give your personal data unless you actually really want to. Rest well. <laughs>